Swimming is relaxing until it's not. I'm sure you're aware that there are places in the world where swimming would be a bad idea, like in Chernobyl, but who would be dumb enough to want to swim in there? From peaceful streams to beautiful beaches, grab your trunks, Geiger counter, and microscope as we go looking for places not to swim. Make sure you stay tuned for number one, where you'll be introduced to the island with the highest number of shark attacks annually. Boiling Lake in Dominica Tucked away in Dominica's lush heart, the Boiling Lake is a hot attraction that lives up to its name with a perennially frothy grayish-blue appearance. This steamy spectacle, nestled in the Montreux Pitons National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the world's second largest hot spring, raising eyebrows and temperatures. Literally. The lake bubbles add up to 198 degrees Fahrenheit in its center. That's all thanks to Mother Nature's underfoot heat source, a crack in the earth releasing gas and heat, a little thermo disobedience, if you will. The journey there, while not for the faint of heart or the physically challenged, rewards with a riveting display of natural wonder, as if the earth decided to put its simmering core on display. The boiling lake is Dominica's veritable sauna, a steaming testament to the island's volcanic underpinning, and a simmering reminder that fantastic forces lurk beneath our familiar world, occasionally rising for an encore. So if you ever find yourself in this Caribbean paradise, go for a hike to the boiling lake, and keep in mind that less boil, more simmer does not apply here. Gans Bay, South Africa, or Gans Bay in this case, I don't know. Sure, everyone knows South Africa's Gans Bay for its enticing tourist haunts and breathtaking scenery, but the glistening sea there may give you more bite than you can chew, literally. The word literally means Bay of Geese in Africans, but no goose will be found anywhere near these waters. Gans Bay offers plenty of encounters with the real stars of the show, the Great White Sharks, for thrill-seekers who think it's jawsome to share waters with nature's most fearsome predator. Because of its incredible marine populations, Gans Bay has earned the moniker of the Great White Shark capital of the world. That's obviously why you don't swim there. While some gill adrenaline junkies may relish the opportunity to cage dive with the stars of Shark Week, anyone contemplating a leisurely freestyle swim may end up as an unwilling extra in Spielberg's Jaws. Swimming in shark-infested waters is like going for a zebra print jog in the Serengeti, not everyone's idea of a beach vacation. Yes, Gans Bay is teeming with aquatic beauty, but keep in mind that when the lunch bell rings, you don't want to be on the menu. Thus, Gans Bay's danger potential is, uh, pretty high. You know, just throwing it out there. Lake Carache. This place adds new meanings of the term, my, but you have a glowing tan. The serene allure of Lake Carache may fool you into falling in love with it, but tip a toe into this Russian body of water and you're stepping into what could be a lethal radiation soup. It's probably one of the few places on the planet where swimming is an instant game of radioactive Russian roulette, with every chamber of the gun being loaded. Lake Carache, located in the Ural Mountains, was used as a dump for radioactive waste during the Soviet era. Because of its turbulent history, it's earned the moniker the most polluted lake on the planet, a daring title for the epitome of toxic tourism. While some may yearn for a refreshing dip in a crisp, cool lake, keep in mind that a one-hour dip in Carache's glowing waters is enough to meet your maker. A casual beach picnic could become your final meal. Natural threats are one thing, but aquatic threats rarely glow in the dark. Thinking about going for a swim here? Prepare to add nuclear physicists to your vacation itinerary. Hanakapi Eye Beach Hanakapi Beach, how I miss you. Name rolls off the tongue as easily as the Hawaiian waves kiss the shore, but don't be fooled by its pristine beauty. This picture-perfect beach on Kauai's Naipali coast isn't meant for swimming. A deadly rip current lurks beneath the turquoise allure. Yeah, it's known less for rippling muscles and more for rippling away lives. The thing about Hanakapi is that it looks like something out of a travel brochure until you get into the undulating Pacific waters. All good until you step inside, which is like going from Hawaii 5 to Hawaii 5 no in a split second. The tides on Hanakapi are ferociously unpredictable, capable of sucking an Olympic swimmer out to sea faster than you can say shark bait. With the nearest safe shore six miles away, escaping its clutches is about as likely as surfing a tsunami on a beach towel. It's a seductive siren, luring you in with breathtaking views, only to betray you with a vengeance. So if you're visiting Hanakapi Beach, remember to go with the flow. Preferably from the safety of the shore and not in the flow. Fraser Island with its stunning natural beauty and serene atmosphere, Fraser Island off the coast of Queensland is a sight for sore eyes. It's an idyllic paradise where finding a dingo is easier than finding a Starbucks. Its no diving sign, however, is not due to a lack of water, but rather to an abundance of unwelcome aquatic neighbors. If the waves don't get you, the creatures might. 
The waters around Fraser Island are a marine biologist's dream and a swimmer's nightmare. With everything from box jellyfish capable of displaying the lethal potency of their sting to ferocious sharks who have taken the seafood diet too far. But that's not all. Riptides in this area enjoy luring unsuspecting swimmers into a deadly tug of war. The island's a perilous Pandora's box, beautiful on the surface but rife with danger beneath the azure charm. Swimming up the coast of Fraser Island is like auditioning for the Australian version of Fear Factor. So if you're planning a trip to Fraser Island, remember to bring your common sense as well as your sense of self-preservation. After all, it's better to obey no swimming signs than to become a fish out of water story. Worse yet, a fish in water. The Strid. The Strid in Yorkshire, England, once a gentle stretch of the River Wharf, transforms into a deceptive beauty, looking as innocent as a charming English creek, but behaving like a horror movie villain. It's barely an arm length wide, but don't let that fool ya. It's not the place for a genteel English dip. The Strid, known as one of the most dangerous swimming spots in the world, may be the aquatic equivalent of the unpredictable English weather. It appears to be a tranquil stream on the surface, but beneath it is a Venus flytrap-style chasm and a fierce current that churns like an underwater blender. Being sucked into the Strid's deceptive whirlpool of doom can happen as quickly as a hot scone disappears at tea time. This treacherous trench, unlike a bowl of thick Yorkshire pudding, has no bottom. So, you want to take a dip in the Strid? It's like inviting King Henry to a food fight. Deceptively inviting, but extremely dangerous. To be honest, I'm not sure why anybody would want to take a dip here anyway, even if it weren't dangerous. Jacob's Well the tranquil allure of Jacob's Well, a cool clear spring in the heart of Texas, could easily deceive the uninitiated. But beware. Beneath its enticing surface, this natural wonder conceals a dark secret. When you dive into Jacob's Well, you're entering one of America's most dangerous diving spots. The spring, like an aquatic vortex, draws thrill-seekers into its enthralling depths, a labyrinthian network of dark, narrow, slit-filled underwater caves. Consider spelunking without enough light or space, but with the added risk of exhaustion. Ooh, is this the Texas rodeo experience you were hoping for? Not at all. Reaching the bottom of the well, which has claimed eight known casualties so far, is as elusive as finding gold at the end of a Texan rainbow. Some caverns are so narrow that you gotta remove your oxygen tank just to get through. Perhaps a precautionary dip in Jacob's well? Well, just remember that what appears to be a leisurely swim can quickly turn into a subaqueous wild goose chase. Prospective swimmers should keep in mind that it's called Jacob's Well, not Jacob's Swimming Pool. Amazon Basin Swimming in the Amazon Basin may appear to be a thrilling aquatic adventure, but be cautious. Few things scream bad idea louder than signing up to be a potential snack for Amazonian river creatures. If you cruise the murky waters of this pulsing river, you might come across any number of unpleasant surprises, from electric eels to armored catfish with sucker written all over them. Not to mention Candiru, a tiny parasitic fish known for its invasive tendencies. Talk about unwelcome guests. The ultimate danger, however, comes from the lurking bull sharks, which are known for their unwelcoming attitude towards visitors. Got a nippy feeling? These guys, on the other hand, take nipping to a whole new level. Looking for an unusual adventure? Swimming in the Amazon is akin to playing an underwater version of Russian Roulette, with the odds stacked overwhelmingly against you. Don't do it. Bubbly Creek Bubbly Creek, how I adore you! Despite the name, though, don't expect a playful babble of sparkling champagne-like water. Bubbly Creek, located near Chicago, is less of a refreshing apterif and more of a fetid whiff of historical factory offenses. This waterway, which is part of the Chicago River's southern branch, has been bubbling and gurgling with decaying matter from stockyard waste since the late 1800s, earning it a notorious reputation. Unfortunately, though, the bubbles are caused by the decomposition of animal remains done from local slaughterhouses rather than by Dom Perignon. Swimming in Bubbly Creek would be like wallowing in a century-old soup of organic waste, far from being a relaxing spa jacuzzi experience. A literal bloodbath. The water toxicity is high, thanks to a stew of dangerous microorganisms. It's so appealing that a disease control expert's more likely to be drawn to it than a swimmer. If you dive in, you might come out with more than just a ruined swimsuit, though. Do you want to go swimming in Bubbly Creek? Well, stay away unless you're a bacterium. There's a reason it's not called Bubbly Fun Creek. Reunion Island With its azure waters, scenic beauty, and sun-kissed beaches, Reunion Island appears to be the ideal postcard setting. However, if you're thinking about going for a peaceful swim, you might be auditioning for the real-life version of Sharknado. That's correct! Unfortunately, Reunion Island isn't just known for its hypnotic landscapes, it's also known as the shark attack capital of the world. Filtering Reunion Island through the teeth of harmless swimming destination yields one word. No. 
This beautiful but dangerous islet has been the site of approximately 13% of all shark attacks in recent years. Who are the main perpetrators? Bull sharks that are well known for their ferocity and opportunistic feeding. You want to be a bullseye for bull sharks? It's a terrifying thought. Swimming and surfing have also been banned in all but a few protected areas. Recognizing that facing off against ravenous sharks isn't exactly the beach vacation activity that most people had in mind. So, do you intend to visit Reunion Island? Enjoy the sun, sand, and scenery, but uh, keep in mind that in these waters, it's more about swimming away from the sharks than swimming with the fishes. See you all next time!